Hello friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Anna. I'm a teacher of Russian language and travel expert in Russia. Guys, happy Easter for Catholics and for Orthodox people. Uh, this week uh, Catholics celebrate Easter and on next week uh, Orthodox people will celebrate Easter. Guys, in this vlog I want to tell you a little bit about history and I want to show you very important how we in Russia celebrate Easter, what we are eating, what is the meaning of this holiday and what is going on. If you're interested to know more about it, please continue with this video. First, um, what you need to buy if you are in Russia or if you are in um, Europe, for example, if you are Catholic, uh, what we are doing, guys. This, you can see, uh, we call it in Russian language Kulich. Kulich. You can see uh, here two kinds of Kulich. Uh, first one, you can see it's writing Buona Feste. It's in Italian language, Buona Feste. Uh, and it's, uh, it's writing made in Italy. Uh, for example, uh, we do vlog today on um, 9 April and you can see eggs and this one. So people in Italy and in Europe, they buy this kind of uh, kulich. You know, because you know, in Moscow there are living uh, Catholics also and uh, most of our students here, uh, like I'm in some international um, supermarket, Periklostek and uh, there are a lot of foreigners, students, so that's why you can find some products here, you can see it's written in English, also in Italian. Uh, but uh, let's continue about Russian. Uh, we Russian people, we buy this one. Uh, you can see it's written in Russian language, это кулич. Кулич, it's some kind of uh, cake, uh, which we eat on Pascha. Uh, we Orthodox will celebrate on next week. Uh, so today Catholics eat <laughs> everything and we Russian, we will uh, celebrate on next week. And uh, it could be with just cooking by flour, eggs, uh, and with some uh, tsukats. And also, but I want to buy the second way uh, of uh, kulich. It cooked with cottage cheese. Uh, it's very tasty and uh, it has more protein than this one. That's why I will buy um, with cottage cheese. So you can see there are different kind of kulich. If you don't, uh, you can buy a small one. You can buy this one, it's a bigger. The price is around uh, 400 rubles, but also we have the cheap. The price starts from, for example, small one, uh, 69 rubles. You can see the small one, kulich. So maybe uh, uh, it's a good, uh, like a gift. You can gift to your friend. To Russian friend, for example, like uh, Happy Pasta, uh, Pascha, Happy Easter, um, what kind of kulich. So, for example, this one around 300 rubles. And we eat it only one time per year, only now on the Pascha. Uh, so, guys, I just wanted to show you in this supermarket uh, this kind of kulich. Uh, now, me and Anu, uh, we are going to buy eggs, also kulich and some uh, color uh, which we need for painting X. And I will uh, show you how we can paint it, how we can cook, and uh, what is the meaning, uh, why we eat kulich, uh, why we eat X, and why we color the X. I was choosing this one cakes, uh, this cake with uh, cottage cheese, and also you can see it's writing Asvishino, Asvitit, it means that uh, it's blazed cake, blazed by priest. So we are going to eat blazed cake, let's see. And of course we need to buy eggs. You can see how many eggs we have. Uh, we have eggs this kind of color, but we will color today the eggs, that's why we will need white white eggs so let's take white eggs and go for color it so what kind of uh, things we have um, it's writing пасхальные uh, красители means uh, it's natural uh, красители 
uh, some kind of uh, which you can use for color your eggs so you can uh, make your eggs any color uh, yellow blue green red a lot of lot of colors and uh, of course you can use uh, uh, natural uh, crassitelli, <laughs> natural color. Like I remember my childhood, my father, he took uh, onion, and uh, when he boil onion, if you if you boil onion and put inside the eggs, the eggs will be um, red. But uh, in more than uh, time, <laughs> I, I don't want to do like this. Uh, more faster and uh, more easy if you buy things like this. It's natural. And uh, everyone is decorating in his own style. Uh, some people do by their uh, hands job. Some people buy also. You can buy it. I just uh, want to show you. But uh, also you can do everything by yourself at home. Uh, also, I will share the picture. I think here, when you can see how you can color the eggs, like you can use um, beetroot, right? Beetroot you can use for doing it uh, in a red, onion you can use, and a lot of, lot of vegetables you can boil with eggs, and eggs will get this color. But uh, more fast this one. So let's choose, and let's go to my home for cooking eggs, and uh, painting it so guys our eggs are ready look at this there are i think yeah 15 eggs and this is your first step what you need to do you need to boil eggs in russian language to boil means варить the verb to boil варить сварить you need to boil eggs варить Сварить яйца. Second step, you need to paint eggs. To paint will be красить. Да? So now I'm going to paint eggs. Да? Красить яйца. So let's paint eggs. Uh, you can see there are different options uh, how you can uh, paint, красить, paint eggs. So I prepare uh, this way. I will show you uh, how I paint with these kind of things and other colors. So you can see uh, here it's ready my coolidge, a lot of eggs. I bought specially white because I want to paint it. Uh, so this way, uh, this water is very hot and uh, I will show you the way how I will uh, paint, crush it, this one. Second way I will show you, I use these tablets, I will put it here. Let's. Uh, try this one actually guys i do it first time so i'm not sure will it be good or not so how i can do i need to add a little bit here i hope i'm doing right wow 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 very beautiful take this and then uh add egg wow And uh, let me tell you a little bit about the history. Uh, the history is that uh, we Russian people, uh, and also not Russian, all um, uh, Catholics and uh, Orthodox, uh, we celebrate Easter. The difference is only uh, the date, like we celebrate um, Orthodox. In, every year it's different. Now, for example, this year, Orthodox people celebrate um, after one week, Catholics celebrate 9 April, Orthodox celebrate after one week. So we are doing a uh, yellow color as we uh, did a uh, red one. And uh, you can ask me why are you painting uh, X and why X? So uh, the legend is uh, that in this day, uh, the Jesus uh, the Jesus uh, resurrected and uh, the Maria, she saw it. No, one legend is that egg means that uh, it's a symbol of Jesus and a symbol when someone born, a symbol of life. And in this day, when we celebrate Pascha, uh, the Jesus uh, resurrected and Maria came to people uh, also let, let's mix uh, and uh, she said Jesus resurrected 
And uh, people didn't, of course, um, believe her. Didn't say, oh, it's impossible. You are saying crazy things. And uh, she brought with herself the egg. And one person said, oh, I will believe you if the egg uh, become red. And she closed uh, in her hands uh, the egg and she was thinking, oh God, please help me to show the people that I am telling the truth. And when she opened her hands, the egg was really red. And, uh, but as I said, it's just a legend. Uh, no one knows if it's true or not, but legend like this. So that's why uh, all Christianities uh, use eggs and um, the tradition is that we uh, paint, that we paint is, and standard of course must be uh, red. Everyone must use in Russian language krasny. Let's continue and finish all of this. So we are finishing with the painting X. Guys, uh, very important that uh, this color is, so this paint uh, is edible, means you can eat it, so it's natural. Um, paint uh, so don't worry that I use some paint which we use for painting uh, I don't know walls and so on so it's all edible uh, this one edible which uh, we use with these capsules and uh, uh, this one you can see a little bit different way um, I, I just uh, used the um, tablets uh, in Russian, tabletki, tablets. Uh, very important to put it in a hot water and then uh, wait, do like this. And uh, the more eggs stay inside, uh, the more colorful uh, it will be. So you can see it must looks like blue, uh, yellow, and uh, it looks like pink, but must be red. So all edible. Uh, I want to say that what we Russian people that uh, about fasting 40 days, as I said, uh, it's um, uh, in Russian language we call it Veliki Post, uh, Veliki Post, great fasting, 40 days we are like vegetarian, uh, we are not eating meat, we are not eating uh, fish, not drinking, uh, not smoking, only praying and uh, after 40 days uh, all uh, Russian people uh, what we are doing uh, today on Sunday uh, we are preparing um, all these eggs uh, we buy um, a kulich or uh, some people cook it in a Russian language let's learn a new uh, verb we say it pech pech it's baked да, печь, печь, что, печь кулич, for example, печь и спечь, печь кулич. So we uh, bake uh, this one at home or buy already. So we will try this one. Mm. So I bought. Um, it's also guys special кулич, which I am going to eat now. Uh, you can buy already blessed but if you bought or you cook by yourself at home what we are doing we take our all eggs like for example let's say if today we do it on saturday uh, and uh, the pascha is on sunday it's always on sunday воскресенье sunday воскресенье and the russian people we take all eggs then we take this um, kulich and go to the church and the priest he uh, blessed all of this and after this we uh, bring it at home and only after this we eat but for example now i already can eat it because it's already uh, in russian language освящено освящено means blessed uh, освещать, освещать, освещено. Тогда so we finished. Really, guys, it was hard job. I spent uh, about I, I don't know maybe four hours today for buying this for color. But uh, please write me comments. Do you like it? And uh, very interesting. Do you have something similar in your country? Do you celebrate Easter? Please write me, it will be very, very interesting. And a small taste for Anu. Anu. Guys, do you know Anu? He is a student. Uh, he is not only cameraman, also he is studying Russian. Anu, let's check your Russian. Uh, tell me, please, what is the color? This one? 
Какой? Это желтый. Желтый. А this one? Это тоже желтый. Тоже желтый, да, very good, желтый. Так, желтый. Это? Это красный. Красный. Это? Это голубой. And also заяц тоже, да? Да. Голубой. Это green one. Это желтый. Желтый? Нет, желтый. Это? Желтый. Но дж. Зеленый, да. Да, да, да. Это зеленый. Очень хорошо. Молодец. Молодец means good boy. А ну, good boy. And, uh, guys, uh, let's taste it, okay? I want to show you how it looks inside, so let's leave eggs here. So this is some cookies. Uh, actually, rabbit is not a symbol of orthodox, but uh, I decided also to take him. Uh, let's see the cake, and before we start, I want to show you uh, the game. Anu, can you play with me with the game? Uh, what game we have? It's a surprise for Anu, he, actually I, I didn't um, tell him, he doesn't know it. So what do we Russian people do? Like all family on the table and all relatives, grandmothers, fathers, everyone is here. And uh, like we have eggs and every person take any egg. For example, Anu, choose any egg which you like. I will take this one. Okay, take it. Yes, you can take. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's take green. Mm -hmm. And uh, the game, and let's play the game. What is the rule? Like we uh, two people have eggs. Now we need, uh, a, in Russian language, ударить, ударить яйцо, ударить egg. And uh, the winner is the person uh, who will save his egg. Ready? No, so we do uh, like один, два, три, and hit each other. Ready? Давай. Один, два, три. I won. О, нет, нет. А ну, окей, а ну вон, а ну выиграл, хорошо. Один. Two people. Один, два, три. Ah, I win. Uh, okay, you win. Yes! <laughs> so guys, this is uh, the game, it's really funny. Anu, don't be upset. <laughs> so, let's try uh, this cake. Let's see how it looks inside. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Very beautiful. So, this is a uh, cherry and uh, bread cherry and you can see the consistency here is uh, not dry standard cake is dry but this one with cottage cheese uh, and uh, it has a uh, good protein of course so guys i'm going to eat welcome and uh, in russia if you have russian friends let's learn how you will uh, congratulate them so you will need to say uh, what we russian people do uh, when we meet each other we say Христос воскресе, and the answer from other person will be воистину воскресе. С Пасхой, с праздником светлой Пасхи. Happy Easter, and uh, as usual, guys, if this vlog was useful for you, and if you want uh, to learn Russian language for free, I invite you to my uh, online Russian language school and to free Telegram channel group when you can um, practice Russian uh, with speaking, talking and reading. So welcome to my Telegram group. Thank you for listening. Bye for now. Пока -пока. I'm going to eat it. Wow. Пока -пока. From Russia is love. Пока -пока. Okay, let's try. I have no words where to taste <laughs> yeah, it's actually really nice mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and with the tea